For this video, I am working off of O2 starting pose.aep inside the chapter 3 folder if you're working with my source files. If not, feel free to follow along with your own character. What I want to do is create the first action for the walk cycle. Since we are creating a cycle, it's best to start the character mid animation. So we're going to make a contact right away with both feet, and then we can go from there with the other actions. So, making sure we are on frame 0. You can tell this by looking at the time indicator on your composition. I want to come down to Red Thunder Separated, click once, hit E on the keyboard to bring up the puppet, and then click on Puppet. You'll see, with the selection tool selected, we have the ability to look at the points. And I'm going to use the selection tool for the majority of this because it's easier to move them compared to using the puppet pin tool when working with multiple meshes. At least I feel it is. Plus, you don't accidentally then click and create more pins as you're trying to animate. Also, before we begin animating, I want to click once on the composition panel and then use Command K or Control K if you're on Windows and just double check that you're at 24 frames per second. You can choose whichever frame rate you wish, but just keep in mind that the results will be different compared to this course if you're using a different frame rate. But the higher the frame rate, the more fluid the look. I'm just going to stick with 24 as that seems to be a good frame rate that's used a lot. So once we're good, we can click OK, and now we can begin the process of creating the pose. So with the puppet selected, I want to zoom in, come down here, and locate the front foot. So I can click once, and you can see when I click once on the front foot, all the pins making up the front leg become bigger, allowing us to easily identify which points belong to which mesh. And now I can click and drag and just come over, and we're going to bring the foot out like this. And I'm not quite sure how far out I want it yet, but we're just going to start with something. And I can zoom out, and we're going to locate the knee joint and then bring that forward as well to create the effect that we're looking for. So something like this should work for right now. I can also tell that my leg is already becoming slightly detached from the pelvis, but I'll leave that as is for now because we can come back to that here once we move the arm and we get a better look of what's going on. We're going to do the same thing now for the back leg. And since our points are separated now, I can use Command P or Control P if we're on Windows, and then lasso the three points so it's easier to move the foot all together. And then we're just going to move it back like so. So perhaps about like this. And then we can click and drag on that knee and bring that over and down a little bit like so. So if we zoom out, we have something that looks like this now. If things aren't quite looking correct, what we can do is with the puppet pin tool still selected, I'm going to come up here to the top and click and drag and lasso everything going all the way down here to the pelvis and release. And now I can click and drag and I can readjust the body with the legs. So if I feel it's too back or forward, I can come in and adjust the distance of the body with the legs. So perhaps something about like this should suffice. And I can release, I can click off, and we can see what this now looks like. As a general rule, it's best to move the arms opposite of the legs. So for the front arm, we're going to come in, let's click on the mesh, just to make sure we have the right mesh selected. There we go. Using the selection tool, since the front leg is moving forward, we want the front arm to move backward. So we'll come in and just get it moved back like so. We can add a slight bend to the motion if we wish. So the hand looks like it's kind of going out like that. More to the right. This now allows us to come in and look at this leg closer. And we can move this point now up so that it matches. And I can zoom in to get a better look of this. You can see I just can come up and reattach it like so. Get it in like that. There we go. So now that's looking more correct. And finally, we can move the back arm as well. So coming in, 
with the selection tool and I can just zoom in a little bit. Just grab the top portion of the arm so I can see my points. We'll move the hand out like so. And then we can move the elbow out. And move the hand out a little bit like that. So now if we come back and take a look, the starting position looks just like this. It looks rigid. It's not quite done yet. We're just going to get the basic fundamentals of the walk cycle down first, the arm and leg positions, and then we'll start slowly building on top of that. We'll add shifting weight, we'll work with the feet, and a few more things. I'll pause the video here, and up next, we'll talk about adding stride guidelines so that you can focus on the movement of the feet.